need to grind it and we need to squeeze it. There's one company that does that back in Florida. And they sent us a video of it. And they ground up the beef, you know, and they said, okay, I looked at the bricks of this. And then they ground up the leaves. And I thought, why the hell would you have to grind up the leaves? <laughs> I mean, anybody knows, like, don't, you surely know that there's no sugar in the leaves of that, that stupid plant. Right. <laughs> Anyhow, those, those are the kinds of engineers, you know, that are solving these problems. So uh, we need to figure out how to grind and squeeze them better. I wrote to NSF and I said, I said that Benson ground up these beets and they looked for the sucrose, but what they didn't do was check the beet pieces to see how much sucrose was in there. They didn't look to see if they put hot water in there, if they get more sucrose out. They didn't look to see if they put pure water in there, would they set up a concentration gradient, then I use some other technical terms. They got back and they said, oh, that sounds like a good idea. You should send that in, you know, for an NSF grant. And that's what Charlie just signed today. But, you know, I don't know what kind of a chance we have there. But anyhow, that's, that's, that's on the side. We grind them and squeeze them. We have sucrose water. The latest cellulosic company, Kosaka, just got a big deal that they're going to get this sucrose from cellulosic sources. And then they're going to ship the sucrose water to other places. That's their new technology. Think about that. This is about 10% sucrose. How in the world can they ship that stuff? You know, the gasoline is 100% gasoline when they ship it. So I'm saying there's all this rhetoric about cellulosic ethanol. It's not here now. They've been saying for 15 years that it's going to be here in five years. I'm saying, God bless. NSF, USDA, support that, but at the same time, support us solving our own problem right now with sugar sources. And I say this is why. If we have a sucrose water solution, we have to ferment that. We have an ethanol water solution. Then we have to distill that. Every cellulosic process gives us that. If we change the use of ethanol by the people, that's a big part of this. Our distiller doesn't change because we still have to distill it. We still have to ferment it. Even if Kosaka sends us sucrose and we don't grow the beets, we still have to ferment it. We still have to distill it. We still have to have our customers using it. That's what I'm saying is a solution. Science comes along, that's great, we're all set up for it. We can do it right now for grinding up these, these kinds of things. So that, in 